Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to do a quick video and talk about power consumption and how you can keep up with how long your battery will last, how much juice you're using if you're running on battery with your radio. This is a Mieti 20 amp hour battery. Most of these life pose, all of these life pose are rated in amp hours and it also gives you the corresponding watt hours, which is these two numbers multiplied by each other give you the watt hours. So that is the capacity of this battery. One amp of current draw constantly, you could run a radio on this for 20 hours. So something like an 891 is probably around one amp of current draw when it's not keyed up in any way. So sitting here doing nothing, idle but turned on, 20 hours of runtime on this battery. Now, when you go out and you do something where you're talking on the radio, either sideband phone or you're doing FT8, you're obviously drawing current at that point. If your radio, every time you key up, draws 10 amps of current every time, and if you held the mic down the entire time and did one continuous tone and drew your full 10 amps of power every time, this battery would last two hours. You're not doing that. When you key up, yes, you may be pulling 12 or 15 amps of current, but you're also talking, and as you talk, the amount of RF power going out of the radio varies up and down. FT8 obviously uses more power, so does CW, because every time you key with FT8 or you key with a CW key, you are drawing the full, let's say, 10 amps of current for your 891. It's probably more, but I don't want to get crazy with numbers. So something like a 20 amp hour battery probably can easily support an all-day POTA activation especially if you're doing phone. Yes you may be keying up and hitting 8 to 10 amps of current maybe 12 every time you key but you're also unkeying and when you're unkeying you're only drawing one amp of current so an 8 hour activation on something like a 20 amp hour battery is is very possible. It all depends on how much you use the battery as you go. So if you slip out to a POTA activation with this, I'd expect six to eight hours easily. When we talk about how much power and current, the formula is pretty straightforward for this kind of thing. Power in watts is equal to our amperage times our voltage. And pi is the formula. This is typically a question, oops, this is typically a question on, I know it's on the extra test. I think it's on the general and the tech test as well. So power equals I times E. Power in watts times current, or power in watts equals current in amps times voltage. And of course you can flip this equation if you needed to to figure out the other one. If you knew the wattage that something was rated at, just change the numbers around, move the sign, and you can figure out that. It's a really straightforward calculation, one of the easiest ones to do in amateur radio. Now, to save you from doing math during your POTA activation, or whenever you're running on battery, I keep talking about POTA activations, but you could get something like this. Now, this is one I've had for a while. This is a uh, power analyzer. This is a Hobby King branded one. These things are all over Amazon. There's tons of them. They're probably all made by the same company. They just have different branding. And this is a great little device because what this does, and I'm going to hook up this battery to this right now, what this will do as soon as it comes on is cumulatively show you how much current you're using. So we're going to tell it, okay, we want to use watts. And now as I put a load on here, if I did, and I'm, we're not going to, this will keep a rolling total of how many amps I've drawn, what my current voltage of my input power supply is, how many watts I'm using. This is live at key down time, right? If I plugged in a radio, this would go up to about one amp and tell me how many watts that the battery is producing to run that device at one amp. This is the battery voltage, and then this is the cumulative watt, or amp hours. In this particular meter, I believe it rotates displays that changes what's displayed, but it's all the numbers that you would use while you're 
with your load attached showing it. So with something like a 20 amp hour battery, I can go out and use my radio portable and I will know how many amp hours I have consumed out of this battery without having to keep up how much am I keying down every time, what's the time, etc., etc., etc. So this is a, a very useful device to have in your Go Kit, no matter what your Go Kit is for. These are all over Amazon. I will post links to all this stuff in the description below. All the links below are going to be affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any extra. But if you do purchase something from one of them, it helps out the channel. So I appreciate it if you do. There are multiple brands of these. PowerWorks has one. There's a ton of them that look exactly like this with different names. But I recommend that this is something you have in your Go Kit because it saves you a lot of mathing on the fly. And I'm all about avoiding mathing if I can help it. Guys, that's all I've got for this video. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not, it's in the doodly-doo below. And ring the bell, also in the doodly-doo below, so that you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks a lot, y'all. 73.